Welcome back to the channel. If you sell on eBay and you have more than one shelf or tub full of stock, you are going to need an inventory and storage system so you can find your item when it is sold. Trust me, there's nothing worse than making a sale and not being able to find the item in your store. If you do lose it, you have to cancel the sale and let the buyer down which will almost certainly result in negative feedback and a strike against your account. So you definitely don't want to go there. eBay's solution to this is the option to add an SKU number to your listing. SKU stands for Stock Keeping Unit and it enables you to attach a unique stock number and storage reference to your item and listing. My SKU numbers, for example, look like this, 210817, where 2108 is my inventory or stock number and 17 is the tub the item is stored in. It's not visible to the buyer, only to you, where it appears on your active listings page and also on your orders page for easy reference when you make a sale. So it's a really helpful part of the create new listing page. Using this reference number, I can go straight to the tub it is stored in without the need to search through hundreds of stock items randomly scattered about in my store. This system works really well for me and to date I haven't lost a single stock item that has been sold. Fingers crossed for the future. So what's the point of this video? Well, as you probably know, eBay are in the process of moving all sellers across from the old style create new listing page to the latest updated version. It's a new, clean, fresh look and to be honest, overall, I do like it. When you are creating your new listing using the new template, unlike the old page, there is no obvious SKU box to add your stock number and storage reference to. So it appears that your only option to add an SKU is to create a new item specific, which will be visible to the buyer, or add your SKU to the title and or description, which uses up valuable space and to be honest, looks in my opinion anyway, messy and may confuse the buyer. However, fear not, there is a hidden fix. Surprise, surprise with eBay. All you have to do is, when you create a new listing using the new template, look out for and click on Edit All Options, which is located to the right of the new listing title. There you will find the SKU box, and if you turn it on, your SKU will be added automatically to your listing, where if it's the same as mine, it should be visible for all future listings so you don't have to use the edit all options every time you make a new listing. Thank you eBay, job done. However, maybe you could have made it a little bit more obvious. Anyway, hope this quick listing tip helps. And if you think I've earned it, please like, comment, subscribe, share this video, most important to help us with the algorithm. And if you are a new subscriber, let me know where in the world you are from so I can add you to our digital subscriber list, which should be scrolling across the screen as I speak. If I have missed you off the list, let me know in the comments below and like magic, your location will be added to our growing community. I don't need your name, just your approximate location in the world. That's all for now, folks. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.